So, everyone remembers where we left off last time. You just fought a very aggravating plant. And, uh... Um, <laughs> Titchmarsh. Tailey's discovered the true power of the artifact that a god gave her. A god gave an artifact that packs a bit of a wallop, who'd have thunk? <laughs> um, are our spells refreshed, or do we still need to rest? No, nope, you're picking right up where you left off. You are oh, shit. standing in a field with burnt out plants. Let, let's keep going. We've got places to be. We've got people to rescue. We've got gods to bribe with gemstones. What gemstones? Yeah. Saji is still very much unconscious but stable. And yeah, the party's actually looking pretty battered, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So if I remember, you're looking at about midday. Yeah, that's what I know. Say so you were at midday when you encountered the plant. Stop for lunch or something? Down the greasy spoon. Well, I guess we'll just keep heading out. Yeah. I mean, if Follow the river round. Be... Do I need to cast nature's paths again? No, I reckon you should still be okay. The spell effect lasts a good few hours. So you guys were following the river back towards the uh, Malole settlement, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Well then, so you continue on your path, you're not going to really run into anything else today, I don't think. At least not as far as you're aware, but um, yeah, how much longer... So say you're at about four, mm, three, four o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. When about do you guys want to call a stop for today's march? How far are we away from the wagon? Uh, you're still at least a full day's travel, although you are in the home stretch. You reckon you should be there about uh, sometime tomorrow, early tomorrow. Yeah. How, long did it, how long did it take us to get to the temple from um, from the wagon the first time round? Because Nate, it, it, it took two and a half days, but that time you got a serious speed boost from the Orang Pundax. Oh yeah, because we travelled to the but... thing, and then went to the temple. Because they oh, on the monkeys, guys. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That okay. gave you a pretty decent speed boost on the trip in. Yeah, fair enough. I was just, I was just thinking because um, nature's paths meant to cut down the journey time because it's like the best way you can get there. But obviously, yeah, that's fine. I remember. Yeah, you you got a uh, jungle canopy express on the way in. Did you? I'd say we keep going until like late evening. Yeah, yeah, probably like sort of eight or nine before we start setting up camp. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine by me because I have like dark vision, but you guys are, are gonna suffer quite a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say like ideally we would want to really set up camp by the time uh, you know sun's going down, so we have yeah. sunlight to actually set the camp up at. Yeah, okay, I'm up with that. Let's do it. Because we'd really rather not, you know, be in the middle of setting a camp and suddenly there's two fucking terror birds coming in that want revenge from their. Uh, Wonderful, wonderful friend. Yeah, set up the camp in daylight, or at least as much daylight as we have. Okay, that's fair. No, so, yeah, rest up a bit. you can get a good few hours march in then, before then. And to judge by your sense of distance and your magical assistance, Taylor, you reckon that if you stop for the night now, you'll probably be back at the village uh, probably about within half a day. Ooh, yeah, so we've only got about half a day to go before we get back. Nice. Your uh, your nature sense really does help the party, especially with keeping to the river. Yeah. Your nature me. sense allows you to see the points where it bends and lets you cut the corner there safely, when otherwise you might risk getting lost entirely. So yeah, good job, Druid. I'm the best. So, setting up for the night, who's taking the first watch? Me. Okay, and I assume everyone's eating a meal? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, remember to make note of what rations you're carrying. Um, I'm gonna go and find some. Haven't we the still last got some of the bananas that we've got? If we still yeah. got them. Yes. Yeah, you should still have bananas. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need more soup again. <laughs> Can I do some sort of like survival check or something to try and find some food? Yeah, survival check for foraging. Yeah. I have I'll, Seventeen bananas I'll left. On that. Survival. Down good, so. I'm looking for enough food for me and beans, so is that two survival checks perhaps? Uh, no, it's just a general competence thing. Gen- 21. I mean, you find some fruit that you think looks okay. It's not really that much and it's not a full meal. 
Uh, Tayley and Rowan both do considerably better. Uh, Rowan in particular finding at what appears to be an abandoned bee's nest that still has a pretty decent stash of honey in it. Ooh. And the yeah. combs look reasonably fresh as well. Nice. Oh, beans is all over that. You know bears of honey. And uh, Tayley, after a bit of rummaging around, you come across a crop of what you do, what you have enough druidic sense to know is a selection of edible mushrooms. Yes, sir! <laughs> At least we need psychotropics to get through this whole thing. I'm going to make... Um, my entire life at this point is psychotropic trip. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm going to use those mushrooms immediately. I'm going to um, get some water. I'm going to use purify food and drink my cantrip to make sure that the water and the food are uh, edible. I'm going to make um, a sort of stew with, with those mushrooms um, to sort of like a soup or a stew, which we can also then give to uh, Levi as well, because obviously he, he needs to eat and that's a good that's idea. drink at the same time. And that's, that should be enough for all of us. Can yes, I dip my, one of my bananas in some of the honey? Honey bananas? Yes. Yeah, I mean, if, if Rowan's willing to share the honeycombs. That just seems like a good idea for, like, dumping calories. <laughs> Tell me how many bananas we're using and how many honeycombs we're using. Oh, I'm using one banana. Okay, I'm only a small person. Else? What about everybody else? I'm good. I'm going to eat my bread and cheese. Yes, I'm quite small, so I could, I could probably live off a banana. We'll go for two, though, because I'm a greedy little shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three bananas between the two of us. I'm cultivating mass. And one for a bamboo as well. Probably be a good idea. Just roll it along. It's four. And I'll say one honeycomb. So you're using up all six of the mushrooms to make a big enough stew pot for everyone, Tayley. Whoever wants some. I mean, I don't, well, yeah, I mean, six. How, how big is a large mushroom? Um, what, what large mushroom size? We're talking about the size of my head big. Like, everything's bigger here. When you say large, I don't know what to expect. Um, a large food item is sufficient for a meal all by itself. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll use two. I'll have enough for me, Levi, and beans that way. Okay. But if anybody else wants some, state you know state your case, and that's fine. And I can add another mushroom in. I think that's everyone accounted for now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just use two then. So, uh, have Rowan and Ethel got their food sorted? Yeah, I've got, I've got bread and cheese for tonight. I'm not that particularly hungry. But uh, what happened to the rest of that? Did we eat all the rest of that orang? I mean, we just butchered a bit of it there and then. That was all we did with it. Yeah, yeah. I was prepared to launch at the time. You didn't take meat with you. Meat doesn't particularly last without curing. Especially not in a rainforest. We have so many healers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I... like the idea of walking around with raw flesh in our bags. Nom, 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 nom. I could probably... I'm going to try and heal myself, because I ain't doing too well. What am I at? Well, you're going to be sleeping. There's something else I'd like to try as well. Yeah, well, we're just around the campfire. Um, so the previous day when I had travelled or slept, I can't I can't quite remember what we did last week. But the spells that I'd taken, I took defoliate and lesser registration as my level two spells. Um, yeah. When I'm obviously, we're, you know, when when the stew is ready and everything, I'm going to go over to Levi. Can I attempt to do lesser restoration on him to see if I can get his flesh looking any feeling any better? Yeah, you can try that. I don't know if it's uh, that he's down for this experiment. Sure. I don't know how it would work. I, I'm just, I just know that it is a, a healing spell of some kind. I don't really know much about it, but I thought I'd take it just to see what it did, really. Uh, well, I've got the spell page open here. This uh, lesser restoration. Buh, 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 buh. No, that's regular restoration. Where's lesser gone? Here it is. Uh, lesser restoration. Dispels any magical effects, reducing one's ability scores and cures to 1d4 points of temporary ability damage. Eliminates fatigue, improves exhausted condition to fatigued, and does not restore permanent ability drain. All I know is that they use it for everything on critical role. It's like their band-aid, and it just seems to work. So I just thought I'd give it a try. It's, it's heal for stat stuff, basically. Is what's affecting Levi stat stuff, or is it just cosmetic stuff? Um, it's decapitation stuff. <laughs> Would it? It's kind of neat. From a, narr from a narrative standpoint, though, maybe it's a waste of a spell. But we're about to go to sleep anyway. I just wondered if maybe it's worth a try. I don't know. I don't know how you so rule on that. But... What end goal are you aiming for with restoration? I mean, it's green and gross. 
<laughs> I don't want his. I don't want his skin to be as well, gross. Skin analog. Kind of eat Levi. Fuck. <laughs> I think based on the spell description, it's not going to do anything particularly with the current condition of Levy. Okay. <laughs> Damn, bitch, you live like this. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to absolutely love the reaction of um, what's his face when we get back to um, Fortune's Landing. Like, oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Levy's reaction Man. will be, I know, right? <laughs> That reminds me, Levy, have you got any more experiments you want to try regarding the petrifying flesh on the two halves of your stump? I mean, is it petrifying or putrefying? Petrifying. That's it's... new. Yes, it is, rather, and no, I didn't misspeak. The synthetic skin was kind of going brittle, you'll remember? Yeah. Brittleness has turned to just kind of going hard. Trying to eat a banana real large, fuck me. Right, um... <laughs> I, I, I guess I'll take... Break off a part of the brittle stuff. And no. then it feels to you like clay coming up, like hard clay cracking yeah. your fingers. And basically go through the whole test, like, okay, is it, you know, what happens if you soak it in water? What happens if you try, if you break it and powder it? You know, does it, does it break okay. like that, or is it just... You know, chunk into like if you take a glass for example, does it do that? Okay. Is it flammable? You... What happens during temperature rise, etc.? Can you give me an alchemy check? Sure. Just in the meantime, Arias just sort of put the banana down after looking at Levi's face and head and what have you. Oh, that's a very good roll. Okay, so I you really you've worked out a lot of the characteristics of your, for lack of a better word, skin such that you were actually able to return the petrified samples by placing them in a specific combination of water with a few of your more harmless reagents. In water, you were actually able to return it to its normal skin-like state. So you need to make some... You need to develop so some kind of thinking sound. you need to take a bath. That too. Uh, well, a bath with some extras, sure. <laughs> well, you need yeah, extras? Yeah, sure. Pretty sure someone here can make 4,000 gallons of water. How much extra do you need? <laughs> I need a bathtub full of it. We're going to sort of figure out to be able to seal off the neck bits somehow so that the water doesn't go down it and with the regions. Unless we get, unless we soak cloths, soak it into some cloths and wrap it around and put it on like moisturizer. I don't know. I'm not the alchemist. Yeah, I don't you, know these you... things. <laughs> You do reckon that now you've got a fair bet at um, at stopping the degradation. So at the very least, you're not going to lose any more skin. Yep, which is nice. Yeah. And at this point, I'm just imagining that after he worked this out, Levy's primary way of dealing with this was just sticking his head in a bowl of water so the bottom of the stump is curing in the liquid now. Yep. Right, so really Levy's looking... curing his head. Um, does anyone else want to do anything before the camp settles down for the night? Well, I'll be on watch. I'm just looking away. Just looking away. Ethereal needs, needs to sleep because lowest. Oh health. yeah. I'll be on watch. I want to help Lion make the regents, even though I don't know anything about alchemy. I just fall through the mists and collect shinies. Okay, so Rowan's taking the first watch. Assume everyone else... Is anyone checking on Asagi before bed? Uh, yeah, just give him a quick over. Um, his condition doesn't seem to be worse. He looks like he could do with more hydration, the usual stuff, but other than that, he's doing okay. Yeah, I'll just do a quick just examination. Just yeah, see if there's anything obvious. he's still pretty stable. That's a shit heal roll, but I'll take it at six. A six is sufficient to give an unconscious person drinking water. Well, it's more just like, is there anything... Is there anything obviously wrong, just as a quick, you know, no, glance over? No, he seems to still be sable to your eye. Yeah, good. As good as I can get it, I guess. Right ah, then. I so, Rowan's taking the first watch. Is anyone sharing the watch, or is every, any, or is everyone else going to bed? I don't mind if, if, there's, if there's need for it. Sure. I'll go to bed and then do the later watch. So, Rowan, would you like to roll me a perception check for your first half of the watch, please? <laughs> 27 So See you all the um, time. Rowan, things seem pretty calm at first You even spend easily a full hour Mesmerised by fireflies out over the river Which is a beautiful sight Although you do notice something towards the end of your shift 
in that there is very clearly something moving in the water. It's probably spent the last 10 minutes, by your estimation, moving up and down the water near your camp, as if it's looking or waiting for something. Yeah. Knowledge nature? Yep, you'd well, recognize the pattern of an alligator. And that's, and that's not trained. Well, well, God just said that that skill is untrained. And I said, yeah, obviously, uh, Round's seen alligators before. <laughs> Knows exactly what that is, the natural 20. Yeah. She knows the fucking genus. She knows what its friends call it. Rowan knows. Let me I'll just pop the boy on the map here. Don't let me fight a fucking gator. I'm still torn up over Steve Owen. Come on, man. And to be fair, a gator didn't get him. The manta ray. Yeah, but it should have. It would have been beautiful and poetic. Well, there's the boy. Because I, I think I'm sleeping in the crook of Rowan's arms, probably. Yeah, can everyone just like move your tokens around to where you'd be? I'll put a campfire down. God damn it, Rugal, why do you always job? Campfire's in position if everyone can just pop yourselves in your relative positions. I'm staring down this alligator. We're going as far away from Levi and his freaky fucking deke head. <laughs> be a bit further out. Ryer in defense mode. <laughs> that just means I'm sleeping. It's like a reminder for myself that I need to like take my time if I'm going to have to do anything. Alright, so the edge of the water... Oh, don't make me sleep next to the snappy boy! <laughs> oh, move! You, you can move him. Yeah, you can, that's, that's what you just said. You just put the tile down. You can move. I just moved the... He just didn't notice the gator before he nominated his sleeping position. Foolish samurai. He's near me. I could yeah. probably wrestle so, with the gator. Yeah, Rowan, congratulations, you are now in a staring match with the gator. Yes. If it doesn't do anything, I'm not going to. Okay. So it's happy to continue its staring match. And in the meantime... Bum, 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 bum. So are you focusing all your attention on the gator? No. Okay, I'm roll me another gonna... perception then. 18. You you can hear something. You You don't know what it is, but there's something whispering, and it's flowing between the jungle trees. There is a whispering voice between the trees. What kind of whispering? Is it creepy? Is it melodic? It's not in a language you understand. Still got the language juice. What is this sippy cup of tea? It does sound quite harsh. And just as a thing, it's at this point, everyone who's half awake, there is a crashing in the trees. And this appears to the left of your camp. Okay, I just want to jump in here before we actually get into like... Oh, oh it's him again. Oh. Um, from the evening's events and everything, yes. would we have had a chance to reset our hit dice at all? Would that have been a short rest? No, it's only been a few hours. Okay. You're all still in the state you were. So now there's a large megatherium has come through the trees and is staring at the campsite. Might be a good time to ask him for some help. Who Can everyone please roll me a perception check? To see if you wake up or not. Ethereal wakes up. Uh, Rowan, you don't need to roll. You're already awake. You said everyone. Yeah, fair. Um, Jim wakes up. So Aiden's awake. Araya's awake. Yeah, I'm ignoring it though. I, like, I wake up and I just roll the fuck back over. <laughs> Taily sleeps through it for now. Good. Sleepy scenes. <laughs> and uh, Levy? Okay, at, th at this point, I'm probably nodding off as much as I can with my head as it is, but probably very, very sleepy and not really reacting to all this. Okay. Things are continuing to get weird for those of you that are awake. We're by default. No, trust me. Because um, in addition to everything else, it doesn't take you long to realise there's a second gator at the waterline. He's a big boy. Maybe it's because he's not in the water. What? And <laughs> even on the other side, another terror bird emerges. Whee! And still that chanting that you heard Rowan is still going. <laughs> so, what's everyone's who's awake's reaction to animals surrounding your camp? Uh, the worst option <clears throat> will probably be to climb a tree because the sloth can climb. Can I really get, grab the, the big Oren head from my tent and just hold it up above me, try and spooky? Yeah, you can roll and intimidate on that one. Skip. 
Tadaka. Yeah, none of the animals actually react. <laughs> Casual. I cast the cantrip Detect Magic. It has a range of 60 feet. Yep. Yeah, you detect the fuck out of magic. Well, something's drawing the animal's hair, probably. Or well, someone. I mean, there's a few things it could be. Who's got the sippy stuff? So I would assume Rowan would have mentioned that there's weird whispering or something. Yeah. But do we even have any of that stuff left? We we got a new bottle before we left the Amber City. Okay. Can I have I mean, some? I... Who, who, who possesses it? I would have thought uh, Levy, because I think he said at one point he was going to make, make some himself. Great, Levy's still asleep. I don't think he got to sleep you, yet. You're next to him. Get the sippy juice. Okay. I want some, because I'm the one who's hearing this. Okay. So, with the clarity that comes from Comprehend Languages, you, it's still not words as such, but you can tell it's a spell. Uh, can you roll me spellcraft to try and identify, or knowledge arcana, whichever you prefer, to try and work out exactly what this spell is? Me as well? You, you're not a spellcaster. Okay, so you're not sure of the exact spell, but you know for a fact that it is an enchantment spell with some kind of mind-affecting aspect to it. Guys, plot twist, there's no animals at all, we can all go back to sleep. <laughs> Five more minutes, guys. Hey, do you think it was the big lizard guy and he's trying to get all these animals to kill us? Because he, he knows we're behind the shit. Who knows? At this point, um, the animals all begin slowly and at the same time walking in towards your camp. And the chanting spell is continuing. Clay, try and climb a tree and see if I can see where it's coming from, or see if I can hear where it's coming from. Quick question. How yes. fast would it be for me to whip up something that smells really fucking terrible? I mean, I <laughs> guess you could grab your alchemical bag and just start dunking random things in. Use your breath, Levy! I mean, basically, if I can create something like ammonia real fucking fast... Oh, that should be easy enough. You've yeah. got ammoniac salts, which you just need to dump some form of acid over. Yeah, that's like, easy. That's easy. pretty standard stuff. Bung um, those two together and just kind of throw it towards the, let's say, this bird over here. Okay. I'll hold your head. Uh, in, oh, in this case, I need to actually roll something. Let me double check the spell. Yeah. Yeah. Time to uh, roll a will save for a murder chicken. It recoils against the smell, but it doesn't seem to be deterred. Can I roll Knowledge Arcana to see if I know a counter spell? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try and climb a tree for a good reach. You're in a campfire by the riverside. It's not really going to be possible to reach any trees okay. without going past the animals. Uh, yeah, you absolutely know that the spell counter spell should do the trick here. Okay, well, I can't use counter spell. <laughs> All right, we can never guy. I mean, Araya, you you it's are technically here. awake. You've just chosen to roll back over. What about a snake? <laughs> well, hang on. If I'm awake, then can I just like smelling that, just being like, God damn! <laughs> I, kick, I, kick, I, I kick the snake out of my sleeping bag because I think it's him. <laughs> Good. I I poke Araya and be like, hey. Mm. Counter spell. Uh, fucking about half past two. <laughs> what? Counter spell. Counter spell. I can Jesus Christ! It's like actually living with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can counter like twenty. Why? What? What? Shit's happening, boy. What? Shit. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I, I told him not to watch his fucking nuts. I told him. Oh God, there's another one. Oh, what? Right, I'm up. What? Oh, oh. Pick him up and shake oh. I need... Oh, hello. <laughs> I need a counter spell. Okay, piece of piss. Um, where's it coming from? Do we know? Do I have to roll perception to know the direction? Oh, God, they're from? everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, perception roll to find out which direction the spell is coming from. 21. Yeah, um, it's coming from as near as you can tell the opposite bank of the river. Okay. So okay. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I will perform, which is how I do counter song, which should, I believe, break everything. Every creature within 30 feet that is affected by a sonic or language dependent magical turn really made. Oh, hang on, what the fuck am I reading? 
I'm going to just start jamming to distract them all out of the trance then. Because I, I can't actually find counter spell on this sheet. Insomnia starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the specific thing you're looking for is counter song. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't get no <laughs> Okay, roll <laughs> performance. Oh, I can use that. I'm a, I'm a Magus, I can use that. It's a natural two, only the two of us. Everyone's yes. gonna die. Okay, uh, I can actually counterspell because I expend one point from my arcana pool to counterspell. I didn't realize I could do that. I thought it was an actual spell. Nice. M maybe, so, maybe uh, the. So now we're doing a duet. Whiffs and only the mi only the closest animal to you just kind of. Suddenly looks really confused, but then it goes into a defensive stance. Oh, right. I, I have another stupid alchemical idea. Would I, would I happen to have magnesium in some form on me? Hang on, before we do that, Taylor, could you roll another perception to see if Araya's attempt at counter song wakes you up? <laughs> you awake yet? Smax keys. Holy no. crap, Taylor is still sleeping through this. That's an eight. Can I, can I I an intense meditation. Can I use counter spell? Um, yeah, I reckon you Lullaby. Can. I really enjoyed that spell you're playing, yeah. <laughs> then I expend one pool of my arcana. Remember, I have four to use counter spell. Okay. To counter spell, must. Must attempt to dispel check. So oh, to when did the fantasy looking thing show up? I missed that. You oh. missed all of it, you're fucking asleep. Yeah, well <laughs> the, the mantis and the third alligator. Um what do I need to roll? You when are you rolling a D twenty plus your caster level to see if you beat the So I know what you're trying to beat now, having done this maths. Nice. Yes. Oh nice. There is a spark of magical power that lights up in Rowan's hand, and pretty much instantly, the animals surrounding you seem to snap out of whatever trance was moving them towards you. Particularly, the mantis scutters off pretty fast, the terror birds back away and vanish, so do the gators. The megatherium, meanwhile, just kind of glances around it and then starts eating a nearby tree. Oh, oh bless him. I don't know why, but I just imagine him riding just busting out into I will always love you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> They're both of them, that'd be even better. Just um, <laughs> it's at this point, mist starts rolling across from the other riverbank. Fuck, I'm leaving. 